Hello, my name's Holly Gosnell. I'm a virtual production technical artist. Welcome to this tutorial for creating action bindings for a gamepad's buttons to control your Dragonfly virtual camera. In this video, we will set up an action binding to a gamepad button to take a Dragonfly virtual camera snapshot. If you have not yet set up axis bindings to gamepad joysticks for Dragonfly virtual camera movement, please refer to that tutorial first. For the left trigger, I want to create a Dragonfly snapshot. Snapshots save position and setup data of a Dragonfly camera so you can return to it later. This feature can be used when scouting your shots or when resetting the camera after a take. Snapshots appear here within the Dragonfly window. In the binding window, we are going to create a new action binding and call it left trigger. And now I'm going to click bind and press my Xbox controller left trigger. Now that we have this bound to the trigger, we need to create the function that it's gonna call. And we do this using Unreal's Blueprints. Unreal Engine's Blueprint Visual Scripting System is very powerful and flexible. As a node-based system, it allows creatives access to concepts and tools generally only available to programmers. Dragonfly comes with its own set of Blueprint nodes, so you can create Blueprint functions and bind them to controller buttons. The video examples contain a small selection of some of the more common functions you may require. But with Dragonfly's extensive API and Unreal Engine's full Blueprint functionality, there are many more actions that can be created. So if we go down to our Blueprint Bindings folder, right click, go to Editor Utilities and Editor Utility Blueprint. And here we search for an editor utility actor. We're going to call this one BP underscore create dragonfly snapshot. Within the blueprint, here we're going to create a new function and we're going to call this function create dragonfly snapshot. Pulling out from this function, I'm going to go down into the dragonfly section, snapshots, and take dragonfly snapshot. You can now compile and save this. This blueprint actor needs to be within our level to bind it. So if we drag and drop it into the level. Now the root of the blueprint is represented by this white sphere and I'm not a fan of it. So going back into the blueprint, if you choose the root, you can either use the actor hidden in game and that will hide it when you go into play mode. My preference is the editor billboard scale here. If I change that to zero, it will make the scale of the white circle zero and so will be invisible. Going back to our bindings. And here for the left trigger create dragonfly snapshot, we can use our actor and our target is the BP create dragonfly snapshot, which we have put in our level. And a function we want to use is the create dragonfly snapshot function. If we go and test our binding, When I press the left trigger, 
a new snapshot is created. <laughs> 